today we're going to be learning how to run multiple shiny apps under different URLs in a single Docker container. Why would you want to do this? There are many use cases. For example, you want to run multiple shiny apps and deploy them in a single instance. That's a valid reason. Another reason would be you want different sections of your app to have different URLs. So you could absolutely do this with this. Um, you might also just want to, I don't know, simplify infrastructure, scale up. There are many reasons why you might want to do this. Today, we're going to be doing it using Faucet. Faucet is the most feature complete load balancer for Shiny apps and Plumber APIs and many other things. But today, we're going to be focusing on the Shiny app um, aspect of it. We're going to be using the official Docker image, which comes from Expantia slash Faucet. And we're going to be using version of R 4.4. So let's get started. We have this little directory here. As you can see, we have two applications. If we take a look at what's inside app one, we have a server.r and a ui.r. And if we take a look at what's in app two, again, there's a server.r and a ui.r. Amazing. So let's build a Docker file that compiles to a Docker image that serves both, both applications. So we're going to start by building um, the Docker file. So let's go Docker file. Let's do from expantia slash faucet version for R 4.4. This will take the latest version of faucet under um, version R 4.4. Then we're going to run a really essential part. We're going to install Shiny because we need to install our dependencies. If you're using RM or any other solution, um, you have to kind of adapt the Docker file to that. Um, today, I'm going to be going for the most generic type of thing. So I'm going to do install, install dot packages. And we're going to go for shiny right here. So shiny, close. There you go. Amazing. Then we're going to copy our app one directory um, right here. So app one slash app one slash. We're going to do the same for app two. So here we're going to copy app two. And we are very almost done. We need to build an additional file. That file is called the frouter.tumble. So the frouter.tumble is a little file that, tell, that tells Faucet how it should route different applications. So how do you build this file? Um, every route we define will have double square brackets um, route. And here we're going to define different things. The documentation specifies all of these things. So if you want to go ahead and read it, um, go ahead. It's very recommended. Um, but right here, you're going to have a very good example. So first we're going to define the route. We should go from a least for most specific, sorry, to least specific, because we don't want one route to over overshadow another one. So we're going to put here route and here we're going to set, for example, a slash app to slash. So this is going to be our first route. Then we're going to define the number of workers we should allocate for that application. Uh, Faucet is a very good application for scaling shiny apps across multiple processes. So we're going to just tell it workers equals one, for example, for app two. We're also going to specify the, the server type. We're going to use server type equals shiny so that it knows that this is a shiny application and not a plumber API, for example. And at the end, we're going to define the working directory. So work dear equals app two, right? That's the directory where our shiny app is going to be located. Amazing. Now let's define a, a route for our, for our main app. So let's set route. We're going to put the route to slash. Again, we're going from most specific. So slash app two is more specific than slash. So slash should come below it. Then we're going to go ahead and set, say workers equals two, for example. So we're going to allocate two workers to our app one. We're going to have server type equals shiny again. And we're going to have work dear equals app one. There you go. We have our router configured. Now we should go ahead and copy this file to our Docker. So let's do Docker file. We're going to have copy f router f router .toml to f router .toml. And then to finish up, we're going to run the CMD router. This is going to go ahead and write uh, and run the router for us. So we should go ahead and compile this Docker file into a Docker image. So let's do Docker build. Let's call it multi shiny, for example, and we're going to build dot. And there you go. It's built. I already had many of the things cached for the purpose of the video. It's going to take more time to install shiny and do the other things for you. But um, just don't worry about it for now. Cool. Um, we can go ahead and run it. So Docker run. 
I'm going to do RM so that it removes the container once it's done. I don't want to keep it. I'm also going to attach to it because I want to be able to see the logs. And finally, we're going to have to expose a port. Um, Fawcett runs on 3838 by default. So we're going to be go ahead and use that port. So 3838 maps to 3838. We're going to run multi shiny right here. And let's press enter. As you can see from the logs, we have one worker, worker one on slash app to slash and two workers on slash. How do we test that this actually works? And is it really that easy? Um, well, let's go ahead and enter localhost 3838. And there you go. We have our app one. This is 100% interactive. We can go ahead and click on the bottom, move the slider, do everything we usually do in a shiny app. And now we're going to go into slash app to slash. And there you go. We have a different, a totally different R application running on the exact same container. And if we take a look at the logs, we have the logs for the app one and the app number two um, with their respective routes and everything is logged um, so that we can differentiate between the input of one and the output of the other one. So that's it. That's how you run a shiny app or should I say multiple shiny applications on a single Docker using um, Fawcett. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any question, go ahead and leave a comment or you can ask me personally. If you want to learn how to use Fawcett, go ahead and check the documentation. The Git repository is going to be down below. Um, make sure to, if you have any bug or any inconvenience, be sure to create a GitHub issue. Thank you so much for watching and see you in another video. Goodbye.